three, two, one. Well, hello there, best-selling writer to be. This is Michael from Self Pub Nation, and in this short video, I want to walk you through the ins and outs of using PicMonkey photo editing software uh, to create optimal images that you can use to promote your content on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and, and any number of social media platforms. So what is PicMonkey and why is it so cool? Well, PicMonkey is a free photo editing solution. It's virtual, which means you don't have to actually download any software. You just access it through the online dashboard. And, you know, it, it lets you do some pretty run-of-the-mill stuff. It lets you, you know, crop and resize and change saturation levels. And you can apply some filters. No big deal there. What's really cool about PicMonkey is they offer a ton of free uh, fonts to, to create call to action text for your photos. They've also got a ton of graphic clip art. They've got like arrows and, and sort of textured pieces of paper. I use those kind of as my banners. I'm going to show you that in a second. But it's, it, it basically lets you create this, this really cool, almost Photoshop-esque a marketing machine of like all this really cool creative that you can use for all your book marketing stuff and it's totally free. So what are we gonna do today? Well, I'm going to take this one photo and I'm going to basically customize it and resize it for three different sizes and three different platforms, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Let's head on over to PicMonkey and I'll show you how I do it. This is the PicMonkey dashboard. Uh, again, you'll have to probably uh, sign up for an account. It's been a while since I've done it. Uh, it is totally free. I have a link below this video. But once you do that, this will be your dashboard. So what do you do? Well, you'll need an original image first. Um, and then let me bring up my folder where I've got my original image. This is my folder. A uh, quick note about the image. You will want something at least, a, ooh, do, 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 do. I think about 1,000 pixels wide at least. It's much smaller than that. It will look pixelated and rather crappy when uh, when you export it. So how do you uh, so how do you edit your photos? It's a very complex process. You select the photo and you drag it. I hope you took notes. That was very complicated. That's it. All you do is drag it on to the uh, to, to to the desktop. Um, and it'll create this sort of editing dashboard for you. Now, let me just give you a couple of, uh, give you some navigation things here. PicMonkey works this way. Along the left here are, um, these are sort of tabs. This is a crop tool. And then these sort of uh, thumbnail things are basically uh, the, the, the sub navigations of, of each of these, uh, the, these tabs. So for instance, this is the crop tool. This is basic edits. We can do cropping, we can rotate, we can resize, we can sharpen. If we come down here to text, you'll see all the fonts that we can work with. This butterfly is overlays. Uh, this is where you can upload assets, uh, such as, you know, if you wanna do like a logo or a button that you've got saved, you can also do like all the arrows, comic bubbles, weird, crazy stuff. I have, I've, I've probably touched 5% of the stuff you can do on here. You can put frames on all your uh, images. Uh, for instance, let's try this. If I did film edge, you can see in a preview is what you want to do. If I wanted to do a museum map, I could do that. But let's keep it simple. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this image and create a version for Facebook, a version for Twitter, and a version for Pinterest. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go down to resize. Now, the ideal image, and I have my little cheat sheet here, you'll see uh, Facebook size is 1200 by 717. For an ad, if you want to create a Facebook ad, it's 1200 by 628. Um, and I will have all this information below this video in the uh, in the description. Uh, and then for Twitter, it's 441 by 220. And then Pinterest is a little bit that odd sort of smartphone photo size, 736 by 1128. But I always start with the Facebook, and I'll show you why. So 1200 by 717. Here's what you do. Go down to resize. Go to 1200. Now, it keeps the proportions because we don't want to, like, really bend and twist the photo. Keep this and hit apply. But Michael, you're saying the 800. Well, we're gonna start there and then we go up to crop. So resize was the first step, then crop. Now we put in 1200 again and now we can get a little more final. So then once you have 1200 by 770, it'll create this kind of cropping area. Just move it to where you want it. Uh, for me, let's see, do I want no, let's let's do like the middle right there. That's a good spot. Hit apply. That looks good. Now the next step is I want to create some kind of text call to action. For me, this is a blog post. So we'll call this blog post 
Amazon self-publishing checklist. So what I would want to do is go over to this T tool, which is the text tool. And I have certain fonts that I've sort of figured out for each of my different blogs. In fact, I have a cheat sheet here. This is self-pub nation, so this will be bangers. Kind of an unusual name. But if I select bangers and hit add text, it creates this text box here. Now I just position this somewhere here and I'll, I'll type in Amazon self publishing checklist. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is kind of select this text. I want to center it and I want to adjust the size until it's about 75 to 80, somewhere in there. And then, of course, I want to just adjust it so it it kind of covers up the entire width at the top. So if I go here, I just want it to look good, and I drag it up to the top. I like to always put my titles at the top. Makes it easier to promote on social media. So I have my image cropped. I have the title. Next, I want to put some kind of textured banner below the title. And uh, that, you go to the butterfly effect, and you'll come down here, excuse me, up here, and there's lots of different sort of textured materials. You can use this tape feature. I've used this in the past. Uh, you can use the paper scrap. I could put in, say, uh, you know, a, a piece of notebook paper. I could put in cardboard. I could put in, there's a lot of different options. Um, I actually have a cheat sheet, and I recommend the more you can do to sort of systematize it, just create these cheat sheets where you don't even have to think about it. So I know that for SPN, it's bangers and paper, which I means the notebook paper. So if I grab this, and all you want to do is just sort of adjust it. You may need to go super wide and big at first, and then you want to put it just below where the title uh, ends. So you can see I'm just kind of coming down here, just about there. Then you right click on this uh, textured background, send to back. Once you got that, I have my title, I got my textured background, I've got my photo. Looking pretty good. You could do something like uh, sign up for our free seminar, or you, the, the text is totally up to you. You definitely will want some kind of text call out for what you're promoting on social media. What I would not do is add um, some strange click here button. I've, I used to do that, but then uh, in order to advertise on social media, if you want to do that, they really discourage having these fake navigation buttons. So I, I don't recommend you do that. But this, this puppy is pretty much done. It Then it's just a question of going up to save. Uh, choose high quality. Uh, they have three different kind of qualities here based on these names. Uh, Sean is the big name. It's gorgeous but large file size. That's okay. Hard drive space is cheap. And what I do is I just put in the keyword that I'm going for in that uh, particular blog post or what have you. In this case, it's Amazon self-publishing. And then I put a one after it, and that lets me know this is for Facebook. And then I want to save to the folder, and you can see this is where my original photo was. Amazon self-publishing one lets me know that's for Facebook. That's saved. So once you've done the Facebook part, then kind of retweaking and resizing for Twitter is super, super easy. All it is is go back to this crop tool, go back to resize. Now, if I show my cheat sheet again, Twitter size is 441 by 220, but it actually looks proportionally a lot like the Facebook photo. So if I just put in 441, this brings up a 263, but that's okay. I want to hit apply because I just want to start by shrinking the width, and then I can go up to crop and do that, that more fine detail. 441 by 220. And what you'll notice is, in this current crop, if I were to hit apply, I would cut off the title. No bueno. Scroll up, get that, so I get the good title. Hit apply. Then I just go up to save. Again, I like the Sean. I'm going to change the name to Amazon Self Publishing 2. Save to my computer. Looking good. 
and I've got the photo optimized for Facebook and Twitter. And I found that that sizing, I can use that same photo on Tumblr, I can use it on Google Plus, um, I can use it on LinkedIn. Pinterest is different, and I'll show you how you do that. So let's go X out here, because we basically need to start from scratch, because it's such a, an extremely different sizing. So let's go back to the folder where our original photo was. And this time we don't, we can't just drag because we have to set the size of the photo. So what you do for that is you go to design. Uh, why didn't you do that? Oh, hover design. Then you need to go down to custom and the sizing for Pinterest. And again, this information will be below this video is 736 by 1128. And I only know that because I've done this so many times. Click make it and it creates a blank canvas. Then it's just a question of importing that original typewriter photo, which you go to butterfly, you go to the very top, you'll click your own overlay. There I have the option of clicking on my original. Don't, don't click on the Facebook and Twitter uh, optimized photo. You want the original. And I want this photo to cover about 75%. I want to leave about the 25% for that title up there. But you're going to need to stretch this puppy out quite a bit, which is why you do want a photo that is nice and wide. You, you want something to work with. If I go about there, get that looking nice. That's, that's great. That looks great. So then it's just a question of doing the same process that we did with the other ones. We want to add the text. Take that text and put that up there. Type in Amazon self-publishing checklist. I think that's what I was working on. I want to center it. Then I want to get that font. I may need to select the text to do that. Yeah. Get that font up to about 80, 79. It's pretty good. Have my title uh, set up. Have my image cropped. Then it's just a question of putting in that textured background for the title. Now, again, I did this by going over to Butterfly. I know that this is my notebook paper because of my cheat sheet. SPN is the bangers font and the paper background. I drag this over here. Or maybe I click, that's how that works, okay. You think I know how this works? Again, just drag until it covers the full width. Then you wanna bring it up until it's just below the title. Then it's send to back. Oh, we may need to go send backward. It needs to go we need to bring that forward. That's right, because we want to be below the title, but we want to be above the background image. There we go. Do we like that? Um, I actually don't. I think I want a bigger text. I think I want to go up to like, not quite that, but yeah, I like 90, okay. And it's really just a matter of tweaking, you know, finding what you do like. There we go. That's that's decent. Amazon, okay. So I have my title, I have my image, and now it's time for saving. Again, use the Sean size. Again, I'm going to use Amazon self publishing. Number three, that lets me know it's for Pinterest. And save there. Anyway, that is everything. Uh, that is everything I know about PicMonkey. I highly recommend it. Again, it is free. I've got a link below this video. Um, and if you have enjoyed this video or derived even 2.3% uh, 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 informative pleasure from it, would you please like it or Facebook it or comment on it or all those weird, or you could pick monkey it. I don't know how you do that, but uh, do that below this video. And if you would like access to my brand new free, totally free video seminar, Five Secrets to Making a Damn Good Living as a Writer, I've got a link below where you can sign up for that and get instant access. Again, thank you for uh, letting me uh, ramble on about pick monkey. And of course, write well, publish often, and don't let anybody stand in your way.